called Machsom Lefi. Machsom Lefi is where people take two hours to avoid speaking or listening to Lashonar to really focus on what they say. So here is obviously what people say about Machsom Lefi. Woman's 10.45 in the morning and a woman calls her friend and she says, Oh, do I have something juicy to tell you? No! Call me back at 11. My Machsom Lefi is over at 11. Can't talk now. That's what people think about Machsom Lefi. But now I'm going to tell you a true story. There was a, a, a camp, and in this camp was a counselor called Devora. Devora was older, and the girls in her bunk felt bad, so they decided they're going to do a Machsom Lefi. So they, okay, it's a pretty, pretty new idea for them, but they decided they're going to do this Machsom Lefi. So this girl, we'll call this girl, I don't know, the first girl, Sara. Sara has her hours from 10 to 12 in the morning. At 11 o'clock, she's online to use the phone in the camp, and she hears the girl, this is a true story by the way, she hears the girl in front of her talking about a shidduch for Devorah with her brother. She says, oh my gosh, I mean, you have to be like a teenage girl to really be excited about this, because like, it's not so exciting for me, but for this, sorry, it was like, oh my gosh, I gotta go back and tell my best friend Chana, she's gonna go crazy, that it's this, this girl's it's a brother, they're gonna go out. It's her Mahsam Lafi. And it's 11 o'clock. She's got to wait till 12. Oh my gosh. Okay, now it's 11.15. Okay, 45 minutes. 11.30, 11.45, 11.58, 11.59, 11.59, 12 o'clock. She runs over. God, I have to tell you something. You're going to go crazy from just stop. It's my Mahsam Lafi. My Mahsam Lafi starts at 12. She says, Oh my gosh, I got to wait now till 2. But you know what happened between 12 and 2? She started thinking about it a little bit. She said, you know what? Like, what, what, what's going to be the benefit if I tell her? What's the upside? There is no upside. What's the downside? The downside is Devorah will probably be embarrassed if somebody knows who she's going out with. People will get to be talking. And then when people get to be talking, you know that things sp- can spiral out of control. Like, there's no good here. And 2 o'clock came. And she said, I'm not going to say anything. And Devorah did get engaged to that boy. Masum Lefi solves the following problem. That solves it in steps. It happens to be that the Vilna Goyen said that anybody who jumps too high is not going to be Zoycha to Siyat HaTashmaya because Torah is meant to be done in steps. Masum Lefi is a step. You know what step it is? Instead of blurting everything out of your mouth the second it com- comes to your brain and you don't think about it and you say it right away, Masum Lefi says, you know what? I am going to train myself to stop, to think, and say, hey, wait one second. Like, should I really be saying this? What's the upside of me saying it? And then what's the downside?